Get off me. Get off me, ladies. Get off me. Uh. Hello, everyone. Also here from RVT. So I'm over here on the other side of my property and checking on high number two and three. Uh, they're looking pretty good. I see a lot of bees going in and out. Um, so I'm going to do a quick check up, on, check up on them. And then uh, what I'm interested in finding out is um, hive number one. I'm doing it backwards again today because I want to get these two out of the way. Uh, it's overcast today. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be a little bit pissed. But this is the only time I can get in here. Uh, I'm actually off this week. My son, he's got a competition down in san antonio and uh you know for his uh, clay target team but uh i'm gonna try to knock this out today because there's a 30 percent chance of rain today and then it's, supp it's supposed to increase from uh, i think 40 and then up and then we're gonna be we're gonna be leaving here on wednesday so i, I need to get this out of out of the way today is a Monday but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start checking on how number three and then come back to how number two and then we go to how number one see how they doing all right so here we are have number three all the uh, nectar is gone I mean like nectar I keep calling it nectar all the uh, sugar water mixture is gone so I'm gonna have to take that come back I should have started that but I didn't think about it so it's fine I can come back this evening all right here I'm gonna get you on this side all right, it's not as easy as having somebody recording for you, but then this has got <clears throat> as good as we're gonna get. Yeah. All right, hopefully I have it set up right. Looks like they, uh, You have some, uh, I don't know if that's moth, um, larvae, or what, but every time I open this hive and I remove that board, I see some, uh, some moth larvae on the bottom. <clears throat> There's nothing on this frame. Um, I don't see anything on the uh, next frame. I see some pollen stored in there. On this side. See. I'm just interesting to find out whether she's laying eggs. On this frame right here that I'm <clears throat> that I moved from the outside to the where the brood was there's my queen oh yeah I see uh, some uh, some larvae in there 
she's doing man that's good that's some good news right there i don't know how they connected this to the other frame so that's awesome that's she's laying now see she's right here I don't know if you can see her on the picture but all of this right here there's a uh, larvae there's my queen right there I don't know if I'm getting it on camera but I'm not gonna that's awesome let me see the other frame yeah the other frame has a little bit of brood in there not much, but but that's good. That's awesome. She's laying eggs. So and then the queen cup that I thought I saw, it might have been a drone, a drone cup. Who knows? But it's still there. If they wanna, if you, if they wanna create another queen, then they're gonna have to deal with that. Yeah. So Tessa, awesome. They're doing pretty good. I'm glad that uh, that I transferred those bees over here. I mean the, not bees, but the the frame from hive number one into this hive. I'm thinking about removing this frame, but I don't know. I mean, there's not storing, they're not storing anything on it. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this frame because there's nothing on it. And I don't want to give them too much, too much space to where they cannot protect the entire area. And then wax moths, they're gonna start um wax mothing everything <laughs> there's only two bees on here so i'm just gonna check them out there you go so i'm taking this frame over to uh my tractor so yeah that's good i might check on this board underneath because every time i open it There's like, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There's like a, I guess a, a wax moth area. They've been putting right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrape that off and. There you go. I'm, I scraped that off. There's one here. See, this is what I'm talking about. That's a wax moth right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But that's, it's not bueno here. So I'll go ahead and take it out, stump on it. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put some more mint in there. Looks like they already took uh, ate it or something i don't know what they did to it i'm just gonna put the whole thing in there i'm not even cutting i'm not even gonna cut it off what i did notice is that there are no high beetles i mean i noticed that last time but still i'm gonna keep pretending that it was the mint <laughs> the peppermint so there's one, there are two.
There it is. I'm gonna take this jar, put it in my tractor. All right, so there, they're doing pretty good. I'm glad I did that. I know a lot of uh, people might be thinking like, like, you know, oh my God, you put brood in there. I mean, bees in there, they got to kill the queen. But when you uh, smoke them out and kill that, the, the uh, bee smell, the queen smell and everything else, then, uh, I mean, I thought you know I don't I don't I don't see why it shouldn't work. Another thing that I noticed is that there there are no uh, there are no ants on the on that hive. All right, here we are, hive number two. Uh, I noticed that uh, there are ants here, so I should have brought another. another uh, borax mixture oh yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take this one this is old taking that and then I see a dead uh, I see a dead uh, beetle there. Watch out, ladies. Watch out, lady. I don't want to smash you. You know what I forgot to do? I didn't know that was coming in. This one puffs. Couple puffs. The mint the mints are gone. I'm gonna have to get more mints because I only brought four. So when I get to my big uh, the bigger hive over there. I need to have enough for that. Yeah, these ones are doing, oh my God, these ones are doing awesome. Yeah, they're doing awesome. I don't see any high beetles. I saw one dead high beetle down there earlier, but that's about it. So I'm just gonna leave them alone. Put them back. I got one got one fatality when I set this thing down oh my goodness all right so they're doing good um, I'm not gonna mess with this one I do need to put the mint the uh, mint in there I almost forgot about that it's, it's weird how they they just ate the whole mint Sorry, I'm on the way, I know. I'm on the way of the camera. Now where I did see a lot of high beetles was at high number one. So that's what I'm interested in interesting on finding out how they do on that. Alright, so this is done. Move on to uh, hive number uh, hive number one. 
All right, so here we are, have number uh, number one. <laughs> Holy micro. There are a lot of fatalities. Oh my God, what's wrong with them? That's not good. That's a lot of bees. That's a lot of dead bees. Check this out. I don't think that's normal. <laughs> I'm not a bee professional, but I don't think that's normal. I'm going to go ahead and empty out the... Uh the dead oh my god there's a, that's a lot of them that's that's i never seen that before i mean i saw it when i first brought some bees from from that place and i put them in there like most of them already died but this is a lot of dead bees i mean god like the last time but i didn't expect this from a hive that's already established. Hmm. Well, I hear bees. <laughs> I, hear, I hear live bees in there. And let's see if they're getting rid of the, if there's such a thing as getting rid of the winter, uh, spring bees. <laughs> I forgot to get some uh, I forgot to get some mints yeah that looks pissed because it's It's in the middle of a... Uh, it's overcast. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. It's overcast. Well, at least they're, they're not all dead. And at least I don't see any beetles. Oh. This one is so heavy. I think this one is ready. Oh, I see one beetle. So, so one beetle, which is, <laughs> which is pretty good if you ask me.
this one is the one that I just put on there. It was an empty frame. They already drawn it out. And I noticed last time I didn't say anything about it, but that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what's up with it. Maybe there were drones. They're trying to get rid of the drones. I didn't even look at what kind of... Uh, I see a lot of drone heads over here. So maybe they're, the drones are getting kicked out. And some of the bees are dying with it. You know, like the regular bee population. and That's the only thing I can think of that was... They probably tried to get rid of drones. Because they're... They usually, once the season is over for mating season for the queens it's getting closer to summer i heard that they start getting rid of drones either by getting kicked out or So it might have been drones. All right, I'm taking, I'm taking my first frame. Next one is honey too, oh my God. So this is all, this is undrawn comb. That's all honey. It's not capped all the way still, but uh, that's still, Honey, I heard, I heard that if you shake it sideways or whatever, if nothing falls off, that it's ready to go, even if it's not capped. Yeah, if you can see everything, I apologize, you know, because it's kind of hard to see what you can see when I can, and what I'm looking at. <laughs> and I always notice after I finished recording, I was like, oh my, I should have lifted the camera up a little bit. And I think this is one of those situations. Okay. All right. So... This one is not heavy, okay. This one has brood in it. So this is where the brood starts. All right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take two frames. I don't know, I should have just marked them. I don't have anything to mark them with. But um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take two of them and then, uh, and the one that I just removed from the other side, I'm going to this one is still it still have to go a long ways on this one. So this one is no this one is no go.
here. I think it's one of those. It's looking uh, presentable. <laughs> So I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna mark it right here. Man, it's already stuck. Ah, this one is not good. So. Okay, so I'm taking, this one is the one that they, they were drawing out. So I'm taking, let me move this. I'm taking this one. All right, so I'm taking this one. Taking this one. I'm also taking this one. This is the one that I marked. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave this space there. Got a lot of pissed off bees for sure. All right, I'm taking this one. Putting this frame in here. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm getting bumped on the head a lot. Get off me. Get off me, ladies. Get off me. All right. Move on. Nothing to see here.
You know what I still need to do? I need to go get some peppermint. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put that on there yet. I'm just gonna leave this here. I'm gonna run inside the house and I'll be right back, ladies. Watch out. I don't wanna squeeze you. Alright, I'm back. So I ran in there. In the house. Got the mint. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this last frame. Actually, I'm just going to leave it in there. I'm going to leave it in there and just drop them in there last time. So, got one in there, got one on this side. Oh my god, this is heavy. Watch out, ladies. Oh. oh my goodness, I got one trying to sting me. One of them went straight into my face. Luckily, luckily I have this on. <laughs> it got stuck. It almost got stuck on my face. I should have recorded it. I just wasn't thinking about it. All right. So there's that. Now, if you excuse me. My uh, I'm removing some of this uh, propolis because um, I need for my for this to seal correctly against the frame. So I'm removing this propolis. Okay. Got a bunch of propolis right here. Little ball. I'm gonna drop mint in here. Slide this in there. Slide them so I don't have to. Or not. There you go. Okay, they're not going in, they're just standing there. I'm gonna have to smoke them. There's a lot of them that's trying to sting me right now. They're so fucking pissed. <laughs> I don't blame them. 
I don't blame him one bit. Alright, I left it open on the on the bottom again. Yes, we do have some fatalities today. But I needed I needed to do this so I mean that's unfortunate but that's part of beekeeping too. Whenever you remove the even on the other type of hive, you know, when you remove the boxes and then you you try to put them on there. But you know, as you close as you put the two boxes on the uh, Langstroths, on the Langstroth hive, as you put two boxes on top, one on top of another, whenever you put the top of it, you know, you might squeeze some bees there. And that's just part of it, you know. Same thing when you put the lid on it. But, I hate to see it. I hate to see it like that, but it does happen. All right, so I opened that out just like last time there was a bunch of dead bees in there and uh now i'm gonna close it and they'll cover the hole again but yeah that's that's it let's, let's go check out the uh the harvest the first harvest of the ever all right, so here they are on my tractor. I'm going to take those and put them inside. I don't want to ruin that comb, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I'm just going to store them inside the house and, uh, I don't know, figure something out. Maybe I'm not going to have a choice but to go in there and... Uh-oh, I'm attracting bees, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> All right, so I took the honey inside. Um, it was, I was attracting some, too many bees to the honey that I pulled out. Um, and they came back outside over here. But uh, my plan is to just uh, extract the honey. And then uh, after that, you know, I'm going uh, to get some, a little bit of experience. And then later on, hopefully I'll show you on my uh, next, if there's a next you know harvest of the honey but i doubt it but since it's the first year um i'm gonna take if i do another one i'm gonna save some of that for the two hives that i have over there on the back so they can get some honey over the uh drought when it comes so i'm over here on the back so you can see there's like a creek right here that runs that and it runs all the way across from the back on the back of my property my, actually my property ends right here so you can see there's like a piece of fence that fell in but it's been that was here when, before we moved here but <clears throat> that's where they get all the water from they come out here and I mean I haven't seen any bees down there since I don't go I don't go down there to that creek but that's pretty I'm pretty sure that's where they get the water from and it goes all the way back that way it turns that way the other hives they're over there the two hives but anyway that's gonna be for this video oh yeah and I have my trap my trap over here in case if there's a swarm or anything like that <clears throat> this is the exact same uh, area where I got my first hive and then the hive is over here around the corner but anyways uh, if you haven't seen the video when I got my first uh, tr my first uh, swarm, it's gonna be up there on the top right. Yeah, anyway, that's gonna be for this video. Um, make sure you like like and subscribe. And if you want to see sneak previews for YouTube, sometimes I put uh, pictures out there on Instagram. If you would follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see me there. And that's it. Thank you for watching.